there are many ways for network operators to look at this service and business opportunities that 5G can enable. And one that should be getting more attention is the smart home. So I'm talking today with Adam Hotchkiss, co-founder at Plume Design, about the potential of in-home services in the 5G era. So Adam, what opportunities exist for mobile operators to address the smart home services market centered around in-home connectivity? So this is the first time that mobile operators now have the opportunity to control not only the experience that the user has around the handset, but also the experience that the user has in the home. And, and at Plume, we build cloud software that controls the complete end-to-end -end user experience of the home and all the connected devices and the, the protection and security control of those devices in the home. And what we see is all of that is now built upon a, a pipe or an internet connection that's coming to the home. And our offering makes that pipe smart to be able to offer the smart home services on top of that. And what we need to now concentrate on is how can now that the pipe coming into the home from, from 5G operators are now able to manage capacity and services in the home, how can we build services on top of that to make it smarter, give a nice interface for the user to be able to, to, to walk through the control and set up and, and interface with the system through the mobile app, and also how to, how to control things like their content that's being delivered to the house. How do I make sure that it gets delivered to the right device at the right time with the right quality of service? Or how do I make sure I need to manage my um, children that I have, that they're not able to access content that they shouldn't have and that everything is safe and secure? Or I have a new IoT device that I bring into the house that may be insecure and may have malware on it. How do I make sure that I don't get some infection in the rest of my home and I can isolate that device on the network? Those are all things from the home experience side that the smart home needs to offer that Plume does from our cloud services. And what advantages does the convergence of 5G and Wi-Fi bring to the consumer? So, so this is a very amazing time for the rollouts of 5G networks and, and not just from a kind of like a technology standpoint of of speeds and feeds that are available uh, in the different neighborhoods to connect to the home, um, but more about the, the types of services now that a mobile operator can offer into a home. And we've, ar we've already started to see some, some of that happen with video services. So we've seen uh, some mobile operators come out and, and offer a, a TV service or video on demand into your television through your mobile operator, which before was, was unheard of. Um, I think the thing that we need to now start to look at with, with all this is how does Wi-Fi play into the picture? So, so the first thing is 5G is not a replacement for, for Wi-Fi. What 5G gives is an amazing amount of capacity that can be delivered to the home. Inside the home, Wi-Fi is still the, the, the offering of choice to get high capacity through different devices at a very, very low cost. So the cost per bit of Wi-Fi is easily 10 times less than, than a 5G connection. Um, and so you need to have a strategy on how do you bring 5G capacity in the home and then how do you distribute it to all the devices and then what applications and services will you run over those devices to kind of own the smart home and own the relationship with the customer for, for that environment. And that's where the 5G and Wi-Fi convergence, convergence comes into play. Yeah, no, it's an absolutely critical consideration. Um, now, how is 5G expected to change the, the service provider market? So in, in the most extreme way, it's about the size of the market. So if you, if you look at a, a service provider who's offering a, a, a fixed line service, so in order for me to get a high capacity service into that home, I need to go do construction in the neighborhood and to each and every house, I have to lay physical plant and then I have to have some fiber connection and infrastructure in order to support that. It's very expensive, it's very costly. The, the, the decision you have to make to do business inside of a, a market area is, is very long um, and arduous and the ability to scale is, is thus hindered. Um, with now 5G infrastructure and the rollout that's happening at, at very fast pace, the ability to open up to hundreds of millions of homes, not just within the country that you're operating, but national carrier, uh, international carriers worldwide, now means instead of just servicing 15 million customers with uh, with a fiber or, or, or DOCSIS connection, now you can offer a 5G service to hundreds of millions of homes um, and you don't have to, to spend um, the more inordinate amount of time with construction in the ground. Everything is now over wireless. So we see that as being the, the major breakthrough within 5G fixed wireless, um, if it can be done properly. And, and what kind of challenges need to be overcome to make 5G fixed wireless access or FWA a competitive offering compared to fiber ponds or, or DOCSIS deployments? 
So, so the convergence that needs to happen to, to make all of this work is, is the how to manage the capacity that's going to the house. So the, the, the big concern um, or the, the question that we need to optimize around is how much capacity can I deliver to the homes and how do I manage congestion when it happens on the network? So as, as good as 5G is in terms of capacity, it's not unlimited. And I don't think that anybody would ever say 5G will, will, will be able to deliver as much capacity in terms of fiber um, and, and just as a medium. But 5G has all the tools necessary in order to, to deliver hundreds of megabits per second into the home and deliver the best user experience within that capacity. And what we need to do now is, is manage the congestion on the network. So if I do have a home that's connected to a, a fixed wireless access gateway that's operating 5G, there is some convection on the network. I need to be able to control how that 5G connection um, gets the capacity. So there may be, for example, five towers within my area, different levels of congestion within those five towers. When do I switch over from one tower to the next? How do I connect to, for example, a microcell, which may be in my neighborhood? And how do I balance this load and capacity within the system? It becomes now a, a problem of not only the network, but also of the endpoint to be able to make the selection. And if you can do that properly, then you have a nice steady flow of bandwidth coming to the house, enough for all the applications that are needed. And now you're able to offer a, a smart home service offering and the user doesn't really have to care. Does it come from Fiverr? Does it come from Doxis? Does it come from 5G? The answer is yes. Yes, and yes, it's all about now, am I able to offer that, that unique customer experience to 100 million homes versus just uh, 10 or 15 million homes that I, that I would have to, to lay fiber to. And how are 5G home service providers uniquely positioned compared with traditional wired service providers? So when you look at the, the, uh, the offering of 5G and the infrastructure there, it's really the ability to, to scale and to move quickly. So you're not burdened by legacy deployments you're not burdened by having to upgrade uh, physical plants in order to get the latest and greatest speeds. 5G gives a, a nice greenfield opportunity to go attack the market right away. And I think we've already started to see the opening salvos of this, of wireless operators going after the home. And with this now greenfield advantage, the ability to offer it to tens of millions or hundreds of millions of customers almost uh, immediately in a fast rollout and have an advanced cloud system behind it in order to offer the services over the top means that you can now offer a complete turnkey solution for the customer smart home without having to kind of worry about how do I upgrade this legacy. So, so the, the first kind of mover to market advantage is there for the 5G companies. Um, the second one is the ability to, to move faster in terms of service offering. So the, the ability to roll out new services over the cloud. And when you start thinking about you know voice, video, data, it was kind of the old way to think about it. The new way to think about it is how do I offer enough capacity to run all my over the top solutions that would include things like physical home awareness or health monitoring and care, or how do I I make sure that I get physical security monitoring set up within my system, those now just become cloud offerings that can be delivered much faster than having to kind of rely on kind of the legacy, that burden that may be there for the existing fixed line operators. So plenty there for the service providers to think about and consider. Adam, thanks for sharing your insights with us today. Great to talk to you. Yeah, thank you very much.